What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? What's up? It's your skinny boy, Randy. How you doing today? Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. Thank you so much for being here. You could be anywhere in the gardening universe, but you choose to spend a little time with your skinny boy, Randy, and I greatly appreciate it for it. Thank you guys so much. If you're new to my channel, click the like and subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers, okay? Okay! Thank you guys so much for being here. Also, head over to my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome over there as well, you guys. If I can't answer a question here, head on over there. I guarantee you somebody will be able to answer the question that you need answered because somebody's going through what you're going through. And if nobody told you they love you today, I do. Skinny Boy Randy loves you. So, just wanted to do a quick video on when to start seeds and three tips you need to know. You guys, it's not rocket science. It's not hard at all. You just need to know a couple of things. Actually, three things. Number one, start with your zone. Know what zone you're in, you guys, meaning what area of the country the weather tends to uh, be you know, during the year based off of scientific history. So just uh, know your growing zone, know what area you live in, what you can grow, when you can grow it, how long your season lasts. Yes, you guys, take a little time to do a little bit of research and make sure that you look at your weather forecast on a regular basis. Check for the 10 to 30 day outlook. Sometimes they offer 10 to 30 day outlook on your weather, you guys. So always check that. That's tip number one. Tip number two, know your seed packet. Read the back of your packet. It will give you a lot of information. Some seed packets come with more information than others. But make sure you read that seed packet all the way from the beginning to the end, you guys. Knowing that when it says days to maturity, they're talking about the days after your plant has germinated. Not from the day you start the seed. So just make sure you know that grow, uh, days to maturity is not including germination days, okay? So germination days can be another two weeks, sometimes three weeks. And let me show you what I mean by that. As you can see over here, I have some pepper plants growing inside, but this is an inside door experiment that I'm doing, you guys. I've had this pepper in here. I uh, brought it in from the summer, and she's just started to flower. And... That was just a little sad part. But as you can see over here, you guys, we have some things that we started on December the 29th. And if you look over here, these were started on December 29th. And there's no germination. Eggplant has come up. But none of these specialty peppers, these are my California Wonders, my chocolate, my Big Jim Chilies. Um, none of these have sprouted. And we planted them the same day. So seeds do not sprout at the exact same time, you guys. That's why it's always important to label and know what you're growing, when you're growing, how to grow it. My rule of thumb is give yourself three months. Most people say eight weeks. I say 12 because some things just, just do not germinate quickly. So I would say give yourself 12 weeks, which means you can start your seeds right now and keep them in a container and if they get bigger you can transplant them up like these tomatoes are doing well these are nice strong healthy plants started from seed and these are about two months old and pretty soon they'll be going out in my greenhouse if they get bigger as you can see we have them under our grow light and I leave my grow light on for 24 hours a day once they sprout, at least for the first week. So yeah, you guys, that's just some quick tips on when to start your seeds. I hope it has helped you out just a little bit and you will start your seeds. Know how long you're growing season. I live in Virginia. I can't grow everything that they grow in Florida. I would love to, but I can't. So go through your seeds, know exactly what you can plant, when you can plant it, and go from there, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. The video was not about seeing me today. It was about hearing me today. So there you have it. Three tips on when to start your garden.
the seeds for your garden rather. I love you guys. You are absolutely amazing. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. You guys leave a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Just not the two middle fingers. Also leave a comment and share the video with your social media. I greatly appreciate it. This is your skinny boy Randy signing off. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it. You're the best.